you're on your way to enjoying clean, filtered water. Use this installation video along with your owner's manual to install your new A.O. Smith reverse osmosis system. Before you begin, make sure you read the owner's manual in its entirety for all warnings and details on special circumstances. Let's begin. You will need to have these tools handy, along with your box contents. First, turn off your cold water valve and turn on your kitchen faucet to allow water to drain from the line. Temporarily place the system manifold and water tank under your sink to ensure proper positioning. Once confirmed, remove the system and tank from under your sink to begin installation. Feed the faucet with pre-connected tubes through the counter hole. Slide the slotted faucet washer onto the threaded base and tighten with an adjustable wrench. Next, identify the drain outlet location on the drain pipe to install the drain clamp and mount as low as possible on the drain pipe tailpiece. Drill a 7 16 inch hole into one side of the drain pipe. Take the connection half of the drain clamp and attach the foam gasket. Align the foam gasket hole with the hole on the inside of the drain clamp. Insert nuts into the other half of the drain clamp and place both halves together around the drain pipe. Tighten the nuts and bolts to secure the drain clamp halves around the drain pipe. Next, install the inlet T-valve and tubing. Ensure the water valve is turned off and place a pan under the cold water line to catch any excess water. Using an adjustable wrench, disconnect the cold water line and attach threaded ends of the inlet T-valve to the cold water line. Tighten with a wrench. Push the white tubing into the open quick connect valve. Reattach the cold water line to the T-valve and tighten with a wrench. Place the system manifold under the sink. Place the water tank on the tank stand near the system manifold. Next, wrap the threaded connector four to five times with plumber's tape. Locate the water tank valve and attach to the wrapped threaded connector and hand tighten. Secure the valve by tightening one quarter turn with a wrench. Once connected, insert the yellow tubing into the quick connect port and open the tank valve. Using the eyedropper, add three milliliters of bleach to the open end of the attached yellow tubing. Connect the water tank to the system manifold by connecting the yellow tube from the tank to the yellow port on the back of the system manifold, labeled tank. Next, connect the pre-installed faucet tubing to the system manifold. Connect the smaller red waste tube and blue pure tube from the faucet to the system manifold ports, labeled waste and pure. Connect the larger red tubing from the faucet to the open port of the drain saddle. Connect the white tubing from the inlet T-valve to the manifold port labeled inlet. Now, install the cartridges in the designated locations on the manifold. Start with the cartridge handle vertically. Insert the cartridge and follow the insertion guides as you turn the handle 90 degrees to the right and lock in the cartridge with the handle horizontal. Finally, run a pressure test, check for leaks and flush the system. Turn on the cold water supply valve and turn on the kitchen faucet to release air from the pipes. Once the water is flowing normally, turn off the kitchen faucet and allow pressure to build in the system. After ensuring all connections are secure and there are no leaks, close both faucets and allow the tank to fill. Then turn on the faucet and empty the tank. You're done. Time to enjoy clean filtered water.